So I decided to come to the Canadian Blue store uh, to get uh, some roofing material because I don't know if you can tell, but it's snowing. So that's unfortunate. I'm here with Jared again. Hey. He's gonna help me out for about an hour or less if we can do it in less. Uh, he's got he's got a business to run. But uh, we're switching trucks back again. We just went and got a bunch of roofing. Now we are figuring out where our uh, next three posts are gonna go. It is freaking freezing. It's been snowing off and on, and uh, it is a pain. But we're we're getting it figured. So we're gonna. Dig these three holes, he's gonna take off, and then I'm gonna start making the rest of the run here. What do you think? How do you like this? Looks great, man. I think it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is. Your uh, your sheets that we just picked up, they're going on top of this or on top of that? On top the... of that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Are you gonna have a roof on this or no? Sort of. Yeah. Depends. Depends on the snow and stuff. Yeah. I don't awesome. know. We'll see. Right on. <laughs> okay, let's get to work. Got them marked like this, the other one's over there, and then the middle one is going to be somewhere in here. We're not sure exactly just yet, but hopefully the auger behaves today. It's kind of cold, so we'll see. So the issue this time is there's tree root down there and we can't get it out. So we're gonna try to dig that out and then try again. Okay, that's more tiring than I thought it was. Dakota did it last time with you. <laughs> I mean, he was beat after doing a bunch of holes, but I can see that that is tiring. Okay, so now we're gonna figure out where the middle one goes Roughly just based on where we have these holes um, We're gonna just do some measuring the old uh, farmers way if you will with uh, Other lines as you call it as in using wood and your feet, uh, but we're gonna use a tape measure not not our feet <laughs> All right, let me figure this out. Okay, so between that hole that hole is this mark right here um, so we're measuring the edge and then we'll eyeball it to the middle because there's play on every side And then that's where that middle post will go where uh, In theory uh, the other one would go here on this side, mm -hmm. which it's not gonna go on that side, but that's that's what it That's what the theory suggests. So yeah Set those in get rid of his gravel and then Jarrett can go take care of his own business. I really appreciate you helping me, man. No worries, dude. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Done, done, done. Gonna take some 12s, stick them in there, and we're gonna go. Is this easier than harder than it was like a few days ago? Uh, I'd say it's a bit easier today, really. It's weird though, right? Cause it's so wet and it was frozen. Like it's later in the day, so it's not so cold now, but yeah. man. We didn't really hit any trees or anything though, except for that one hole. Yeah, this one. There were some roots in there. You can kind of see where some of them are. We took some out there. All right, we're gonna put in some poles now. There's Hank. <laughs> Jared's gonna take off. I'm gonna continue plugging away, getting all of the uh, tops cut off flush, and gonna do the same thing that we did over here. What was that? A couple, couple days ago? I don't, I don't know. Timeline in my head is weird because I haven't even started editing part three yet, and this is part four. So uh, I don't remember what I. Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't that long ago.
Okay, I am effectively done the main, uh, I guess, structure of the run. Now we are going to put in put in our cross pieces, uh, not our cross pieces, but our pieces that are going to go from one side to the other. Uh, we're going to put one in about the middle and one in the bottom. It'll be just a little below middle, just so that when you're on this side, you can look in and it won't obstruct your eye level, which is, you know, like right here. I don't want to put one right here so you don't have to duck down. So it'll be about here and then it'll, the, the other side will be basically a reflection even though most of that is in the ground. Th these poles are much higher uh, height wise, I guess. Taller height wise. You don't say, Josh, but like look at these ones. I'm really close to this, right? Whereas over here, I can't even reach the top. So, yeah. Basically, basically you'll see what I'm talking about. But right here, there's gonna be the gate or the door to get into the run. Uh, don't wanna put it too close, uh, just, just so the chickens can't pop out of their holes really quickly and then escape if, if they wanted to for whatever reason. So this is basically gonna keep them uh, in the run part when you open the door sort of thing and it's gonna be raised off the ground a bit as well so I'm gonna put those pieces in figure that out based on the the slope um, I don't really know how to explain it I'm gonna keep them all in line all the way down but the uh, the ground is higher here than it is over there so they're gonna start floating eventually and then over on this side they're gonna float the whole way uh, and then, yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it better than that. We're going to make it so that it works. I just want it to look good uh, aesthetically, like to the eye. Yeah. Okay, so that's level. Right over Ashley's holding it level. So right there, I marked a line. I marked a line behind here, and I marked a line right over there. So I'm going to basically continue this level all the way around. And then... We're going to do uh, a four by four in between each post, and then uh, after that, go up a, another level as I was already explaining. Go down a bit. Down, 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 down. A little more. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Up a bit. Down a tiny bit. Something like that. Tight, tight, tight. There we go. Okay, so all of the bottom, or yeah, the bottom uh, side to side pieces, whatever you'd call those blocks, are all in. Now we gotta do one more uh, coming down. Uh, we don't want it to be at eye level, but we want it to be around the four foot so that we can have uh, our chicken wire, not chicken wire, but whatever wire we were putting on there, uh, we don't wanna have to cut every piece so that it, it actually works, so. Um, uh, we're going to have it so that it can wrap around and come down so that there's no uh, obvious seam area that uh, like a predator could get through. So we're going to do a quick measurement here and we can do that. And right now I have my father-in-law and my mother-in-law is here somewhere helping Ashley. We're, things are going to go a lot faster now. Oh, she's waving, but, but I missed her. She's over there. <laughs> so we're going to... Figure out that measurement, cut all the, the upper pieces. We're cutting them piece by piece because this is just like fences. Nothing's exactly perfect unless you uh, intentionally make it exactly perfect. We just made it close with the uh, eyeball and a little measurement. So uh, each piece has to be cut individually rather than cutting a whole bunch and then putting them in like you would say if you're framing a wall or something like that. 45, yes. So we figured out that we want to come down 45 inches. That leaves us some overlap at the top here and uh, some overlap here 
for our for our uh, fencing whatever wire uh, hardware wire or whatever we're gonna use uh, we're not exactly sure just yet but uh, we're gonna get a standard four foot uh, whatever it is and then put it on so that's what we're banking on a little overlap like so it folds over here and comes down so while Joe is marking those out I'm going to cut each individual piece get it ready to put in uh, and then nail it in and then we'll probably bolt them in as well uh, we got a bunch of these 4x4s left over unluckily they're way over there and the saw is right there perfect perfect So we finished that looks good what it looks good uh, we're almost perfect with our like going down the line with our poles so that's good now uh, Ashley last time the last episode of the chicken coop build did most of the insulating in here now we're gonna insulate the uh, roof part of it uh, we, we have these staffles that we're gonna be putting in uh, first well, you basically just staple them in and that just creates an air barrier between the insulation and the uh, uh, And the roof so that uh, it doesn't bake your roof although we're getting this system which doesn't uh, Really like you can't bake this. This is fiberglass. I don't know. It's it's apparently super super good and uh, decent uh, decent price uh, so we're gonna do that now because it's still light out and uh it's snowing here and there, and we don't want to be caught uh, with our pants down, as it were. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna do that now. I can get rid of these braces and stuff. They're not doing anything anymore. And then we can finish doing this insulating in here, and then we'll travel all the way up uh, to do the rest. Okay, so up here in the little loft area, this, this thing keeps evolving. We're not even sure exactly what we're going to do with the space up here. If we're going to block off the whole area, have a ladder coming up here. If we're only going to block off this half on this side, um, how that venting is going to be functional, how this venting is going to be functional. This one is going to be just like that with a cover on it, of course. Uh, we have a, a few things in mind, but for now, I'm going to take these baffles and staple them on here. So we have an extra three quarters of an inch of space beyond what that gives us. And then we can put our uh, insulation uh, beyond that. And then we're gonna clad this with uh, some sort of uh, panel board or something like that. And that's just so that we don't have bugs like mites and like bed bugs and all sorts of those little critters that bug chickens and stuff, lice and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, we're going to have uh, this done today, and then tomorrow we're going to hopefully start on the outside depending on time. Now, we also have to insulate the two gables, but we still have a little bit of construction left to do on those, so we're probably not going to insulate those today. Basically, just so that this is the same, uh, the gable is the same uh, size as, as the top plate here is like the same width uh, we're gonna put another two by four going all the way across and then coming all the way up as well and then that way we can clad the wall going all the way up 
and uh, make, make it look nice, I guess, basically. It's basically uh, for looks, but also we can put a full R12 piece of insulation in the, in the gable as well. So it, it, it should all work out pretty good, I think. And while we're doing the insulation, you can see Ashley's mom right there. She's taking the chicken wire off of the old coop and we're gonna see if we can't reuse that somewhere on our build for this coop here. You can see in here there's a canopy, there's a canoe right there, a bunch of garbage cans and stuff for holding the feed and whatnot. There's a, a hawk or a fake uh, owl there, like a hawk deter. Um, that right there looks like it was a uh, for catching water, and then it goes into that system. There was probably a better system at some point, but it's all overgrown now. Anyways, back to work. All right, so we got all the baffles in, and that way the air can travel from down through the, uh, I guess it would be the airflow from the soffit. You can go behind the baffles all the way up through the ridge vent, and then it keeps the ceiling or the roof cool so that it doesn't all burn up. With this product that we're putting on the roof, I don't think it matters as much, but it probably does matter a bit. It is also corrugated, so it has its own airflow and all that kind of stuff. Um, we just want this to be like the, the most comfortable for our chickens basically. They get really hot very easily and stuff, so this should help with, with, <coughs> with all that. Or is it like a double negative cancels them out? I don't know. <laughs> so now I'm going to put in the, uh, the insulation and I think we're going to be good. We're not doing vapor barrier or anything in here because we don't want uh to trap the moisture and stuff inside it's been recommended through various bits of research that ashley's done that you don't want a vapor barrier your chicken coop uh and oftentimes people say that you don't want to put a house wrap on your chicken coop either um, we are putting one on ours but we're not being super stingy with how we're uh vapor burying everything we just don't want it to get uh wet inside here so much uh, moisture from outside sort of thing so we are putting some on on the basic structure but we're not necessarily going around all the windows and stuff and making it super secure we are going to uh, spray foam around there around the windows but that's about it anyways hey could you hand me up some uh, insulation please some 24 centers I'm going to do all of this now more all right, I think we're done down here. Might need another pipe here. I noticed that the baffles don't go all the way down into where the uh, soffit is, I guess. Uh, that's because the insulation is going to come down here and then down here. And so airflow will still come there. This is part of the wall, the downstairs wall. It'll come all the way up to here. Uh, there may be a floor here just like how I have this floor. I'm not exactly sure just yet, but uh, all the airflow from outside to keep the roof cool or whatever, that'll still, that'll be unhindered basically. It'll be fine. All right, done. And it's still light out, which is awesome because uh, my in-laws came and helped us kind of as a surprise. They just showed up. So that's really nice of them. I was fully expecting it to be dark by the time we're done. So, uh... I still need to take these bats back out, the bats that I put in there. I just put them in there because I was like, I ah, may as well do it. And then these ones here too, because I'm going to beef up the gable so that it uh, can travel with the wall. Tomorrow I plan to do the roof and then we can close up that ridge vent. That would be super sick. And uh, once we have the roof on, then we can focus on cladding all of this in here. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. Uh, Probably going to do panel board as I mentioned, um, if we can find one that looks decent. Um, 
yeah so we'll figure it out uh ashley just went inside to make a pizza for everyone so uh, maybe during supper we will think about how we're going to do that and if we're going to do this floor or how we're going to do this floor on this side right here's the wall that travels down that separates the two sides of the coop um so maybe from this wall back to the back of the coop we will do a floor uh, for storage it'll all be chicken type storage so extra feed uh, I don't know I don't even know what else you would have like maybe the the kennels or whatever if if we need to separate one or whatever or so, that that can't be in like the the recuperating coop <laughs> uh, not exactly too sure what we would store up here but we'll think we'll think of something anyways done for the day tomorrow's another day hopefully we can get the roof on we'll see got to think of a safe way to do it because this is a very steep pitch off we'll figure it out so i get go to get down and uh, they moved the ladder way over there i can't <laughs> i can't get to it and they're way over there and ashley's inside my in-laws are still taking off the 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 chicken wire and, and other fencing around that old coop. I'm gonna have to jump, but my feet are cold and I hate jumping on hard stuff and my feet are cold because it just gives you that stinging feeling. Actually, you know what? I'll climb down to that window and then get down from there. That'll be the easiest. You can't defeat me, ladder. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. When you don't know how you're gonna do something, because it's big or difficult or awkward or whatever, such as this roof, you can start, this is how I do it, you start with the one thing that you know you can do. So I know I can put the underlay on there. Um, this material actually doesn't require an underlay, uh, but just in case I wanna put one, you can put one, you can put it over anything apparently, including just the raw sheeting. Um, so I'm going to put, uh, just, just a tar paper, uh, underlay on there. So I know I can do that at least on the bottom or maybe bottom two rows. So that's what I'm going to start with on this side. And then from there, I will figure out how to do the next bit and then how to do the next bit until it is complete. Yeah. All right. Let's start with that. So as I was saying, you take one step, get to it, figure out the next step. So right now, I did all the way to there. I have a little bit of the tar paper peeking out so I can still overlap it and then go uh, continue with, with this uh, stuff. So what we're doing is we're cutting it up into smaller pieces because we want to give it that uh, more textured look, layered look. You can just go with the full sheets if you want, but I don't really like that look. So. We're taking the time just to cut them into smaller tiles, if you will, and making a kind of a stepped, I don't know if that's the right word, but each course is basically another layer, I guess you could say, and it I think it looks good so far. Now, since I'm stuck here, I'm not sure how we're going to continue on. We might figure out something with the ladder or something like that, um, but for now, we're going to head over onto the other side of the roof here. And start doing this side this is the only thing that sucks but I think we'll get around it 
because uh, this product it's got all that cor corrugation in it and it'll look fine so I'm gonna start putting the paper on here and then uh, continue on with the uh, whatever that stuff is called I don't even know what it's called it's like a fiberglass asphalt combination something or other I don't yeah I don't know it's fiberglass and something the uh, sticker said something about asphalt but I, I don't know whatever it's good stuff apparently so anyways gonna get back to it uh, so I have the platform that I'm gonna use made on top of the run and it goes uh, on these three four by fours so I can actually make it come back as far as I need and that way I'll be able to go all the way to the top with the extendable ladder also my in-laws came again today which is awesome they didn't say they were coming they just showed up just like a couple seconds ago anyways I'm gonna lay the paper on now and now that I have some help things should go a little bit faster um, paper and then I can go all the way up on this side which may give me an idea of how I can do it on the other side not too sure just yet but I think I think we're on to something okay so this is the old part we got four courses there this is the new part oh, you can't see it because the paper flapped over we got three courses there Basically what we have here is our ridge vent and we have a cap that's going to go above that and to do all of this nice and systematically we've decided to set up a ladder against a floor kick build a little platform on on the uh, on the run and then we have our scaffolding over on that side uh, that that lent us a little more reach so we have four courses and three courses here um, now once we figure out how we're gonna get this paper on nicely, which is gonna be an up and down the ladder sort of thing, and on this side, uh, we'll probably do it maybe from up here. Um, as long as things go go well, we'll be able to lay all the tiles kind of in a nice uh, fluid flow. Everything should be pretty systematic as, as, we, as we go and get kind of used to this system. So the steepness obviously is a challenge, but, my nose is running, that's disgusting. But once we have all that, uh, uh, I don't know, once we got our sea legs, we'll be fine. Yeah. Probably none of that made sense, but it makes sense to me. So we got everything done except for the peak and uh, basically they, they sell this, uh, these little things, well they're long, we cut them and we realized I didn't buy enough. I bought way too much of this, about 30 sheets too much, which is good because that's like 600 bucks and so mm -hmm. I'm going to exchange mm -hmm. that tomorrow and I am going to... Uh, get some more of those. Chikota just texted me, maybe he will help me tomorrow, I'm not sure. Uh, so we didn't do the peak just yet, which is unfortunate, so we'll get to that tomorrow because I just don't have the thing. It's too uh, freaking cold out here anyways. I don't know if you can tell. No, you can't. My hands are really white. Uh, I don't really like to wear gloves when I'm doing this because it's really hard for dexterity, but wow, <laughs> that feels so stiff. So anyways, we're gonna just wrap it up for tonight and uh, go have some chili. Uh, Ashley's parents brought over chili, so that's awesome. Um, so tomorrow, we're gonna try to finish this up and since we're doing that, 
and I can return like $600 worth of stuff, I may as well, I don't know, maybe think about what's going to happen on the inside, maybe? And we'll figure it out. I'm so glad I had help. It looks so good. So the siding, Ashley's going to paint that next year. Uh, it's a little too cold for paint to cooperate for outdoors uh, right now. So envision that a different color. I'm not sure what color. Maybe put in the comments what color you'd like to see it and maybe maybe we'll consider one of those colors but the roof is brown so uh it, it kind of has that you know like hermit kind of look there is a few colors to choose from uh, there was blue which would have been great if it matched our house roof blue a little better it wasn't even close it was more like the color of this tarp uh there was red green white and black and I thought brown was a good color for uh, kind of, I kind of want it to look like a hermit's house you see with the huge pitched roof and stuff uh, I thought that would be kind of kind of neat looking kind of whimsical looking and since Ashley's garden is gonna be here and uh, the raspberries are here they're cut down right so those are gonna grow back next year uh, nice and good I think the whole combination of everything it's gonna look good especially with this like kind of corrugated look it kind of looks I don't know kind of looks more organic uh, than than like the metal roofing uh, or or asphalt shingles like you know like this roof here uh, I, I, I like it so I'm glad I came across that look how much extra I have <laughs> ah, okay gonna go inside and warm up I'm freaking freezing So I got on the costume. The hair is not part of the costume. This is just something I came up with. No, I woke up like this. Well, it's hat hair, but this is the costume. Make sure you check out the pictures on Dakota's Instagram and check out his video. I almost just dropped it. <laughs>